Okay, so this one's going to be 19, form space question 19 on risk management processes and concepts. Okay, so this is looks like we have some calculations to do. All right, so let, let's jump into this one. You're a new security engineer hired to work under the company's CISO. Your company is dealing with remote network attacks that are targeting the company's IP. The company is valuating a next generation security or SEM solution from a major uh, cybersecurity company to better address ongoing attacks. The next generation SEM software would incorporate features the company's existing SEM does not have. Such features include user entity behavior analytics or UEBA and SOAR. So we're using all the buzzwords. The CISO has already met with senior executives. During that meeting, the cybersecurity division did not convince the, CIS the CFO, the chief financial officer, that the company should authorize the expense of a new SEM. In contrast, its chief executive officer insisted that threats to the company's IP will be relentless. Your CISO assigns you to conduct a quantitative and qualitative at risk analysis to help senior executives weigh in the impact of the, now, the new SEM solution. So we're doing qualitative and quantitative. Normally you would pick one or the other. So we're supporting the CISO and the CIF CISO had a meeting. And the CISO failed to convince the CFO but the, the CEO says that the threats will be relentless. So it's a weak CEO <laughs> if they can't control their CFO. Uh, I wonder, sometimes the CISO reports to the CFO or the chief operations officer. All right, use the following factors to conduct your analysis. The new SEM selection should hinge on the return of security investment or ROI, ROSI metric and not return on investment. Okay, so we have to use the term return on security investment. Each incident has previously cost the company $50,000 in multiple expenses, primarily on lost productivity and engineering products. The new SEM should reduce IP exfiltration attempts by 80%, or in other words, preventing four of the average five attacks. Okay. The company has suffered, uh, you know, let me turn off my face. The company has suffered an average of five incidents or attacks per year over the past 36 months. The new SEM will cost approximately $50,000 per year after factoring all license fees. Okay, so we, SEM costs 50K a year. We have five incidents per year over the past three years. Okay, so we have some, we have the information I think we need to make the calculation. Uh, right in the key metrics, whole numbers only. Okay, great. So we have a tax per year. All right, so what we would do, this is pretty simple. We'd take five incidents a year, it'd be five. That's easy. Annual rate of occurrence is the number of attacks per year, or the number of times you would have a occurrence. So we have the number of occurrence. It's listed right there. Uh, the company has suffered an average of five incidents or tax per year. Okay. Now don't be confused here that it says 36 months because it says five attacks per year over 36 months, not five incidents over 36 months. If it was five incidents over 36 months, we'd be taking, we'd have an average of like 1.5 uh, or less. It'd be like 1.33 incidents per year, but we have five attacks per year. It just tells us that. All right, single loss expectancy, that should be 50K. It says that right here at the bottom, or no, the second bullet point, each incident has previously cost the company 50K in multiple expenses. All right, simple. Don't overthink these values. Now, don't do that. It asks for whole numbers only, so do make pay attention to that. 50,000. Okay, I'm going to type that in. Whole numbers only, no punctuation or symbols. All right, annual loss expectancy. So if we have five attacks per year with a single loss expectancy of 50,000, if we times that by five, we have 250,000. Okay? The ale, okay, or modified mitigation ratio percent. Annual loss expectancy modified. Uh, now that's going to be when that's 
when the loss expectancy is mitigated. After mitigation, what is the loss expectancy? So the new SEM should reduce IP exfiltration attempts by 80% or prevent four of the five attacks, okay? So if we prevent four of the five attacks, uh, we have five attacks per year. So that's gonna be 80%, okay? The mitigation percentage would be 80%, tells us that. Okay, calculate the return on security investment based on the formula. AL or times ALM minus cost of solution divided by cost of solution. Now, if you're on the exam, you have access to a calculator if you need it, and you have scrap paper. Write stuff out on your scrap paper. Definitely do that. Uh, I highly recommend using that scrap paper and using things like calculators if you need them. If you guys have any questions on this, I know I'm going through this kind of quick, but let me know. So now we have drop-down selections. Okay, so it well we're gonna pick our annual loss expectancy, which is 250k. So it's gonna be one of these two times the mitigation ratio percentage. So this is kind of a good way to check your work because if you don't see one of these numbers in your ALE and your ratio percentage, then you know you did it wrong. <laughs> so uh, this is pretty good. All right, minus the cost of the solution. Now, what's the cost of the solution? Let's take a look again. The new SEM would cost 50K per year. Okay, so that should be 50K per year. And we're talking annual, annual rates here, so 50K per year. We're gonna use an annual rate, okay? Divided by the cost of the solution, which is 50K. Okay, and then it asks us to calculate that out. So let's take a calculator and do this. All right, so make sure to use parentheses, 250, 000 times 0.8. Uh, that is 200,000. I mean, we don't really need a calculator for this, but it's. I would recommend using one, especially on test day. On test day, you know, outside of test day, doing these questions seems pretty easy, right? On test day, you're going to be nervous. So don't underestimate that. And it's okay to be nervous. That's normal. It's a normal response. So if you're nervous on test day, you need to use a calculator. You need to use scrap paper. You know, that's fine. Don't, give yourself a break. All right, so we take 200,000 minus 50,000, and then we're gonna divide that by 50,000. So we get three. So let's see if three is on there. It's gonna be 300%. So we got three, which correlates to 300%. Let's check the work here. I think we did that right. 250,000 times 0 0.8, 200,000, 0.8 is a percentage, uh, minus 50,000, and then divided by 50,000 would be three. Okay, I think we're good. Anybody have any other thoughts? So what would the solution save? Well, if the solution mitigates 80% of the attacks, then it would mitigate $200,000 worth of attacks. But we have to calculate the cost of the solution, so we, we would use this. Um, what would that value be? So $200,000 worth of attacks, uh, so it'd be 150,000, okay? Because it would mitigate, you know, four of the five attacks, which would be $200,000 worth of attacks. And then, but it costs, 50,000, so then it would end up total, we would save 150,000. Okay, does that make sense? All right, provide a risk management strategy or action based on the ROSI. Risk management action strategy, accept, avoid, mitigate, transfer. Okay, now you might get confused saying, okay, do we accept the solution or the SEM? Uh, so what we're doing here, these are risk management strategies, remember. 
So if we transfer the risk, we're using cyber risk insurance. If we're mitigating the risk, we're employing some sort of security control like the SEMS. Uh, if we're avoiding the risk, that means we're not doing business at all. We're not pursuing this line of business. If we accept the risk, we don't implement the SEM. We just accept the fact that we're gonna be attacked five times a year. So we're gonna go ahead and mitigate that. I would recommend mitigation because we're saving $150,000 by implementing the SEM. Provide a recommendation to senior leadership. Conduct additional analysis. Do not purchase next-gen SEM. Do not purchase, provide negative payback. Purchase next-gen SEM with UEBA or SOAR. Wait to purchase next-gen SEM. I'm gonna purchase the next-gen SEM and it said that it had UEBA and SOAR. So that's just an extra thing to confuse you. Uh, the next generation SEM would incorporate features that the existing SEM does not have. So this, the extra features are part of the reason that the next generation, the new SEM should reduce attempts by, or should uh, prevent 80% of the attacks. Okay. So far this is pretty straightforward unless I'm missing something really big here. <laughs> it's possible. All right, justify your recommendation based on the impact to probability of IP theft. Uh, the impact, well, the impact is, okay, so now we're already, we did quantitative. Now we're doing qualitative all of a sudden. And it did say we have to do qualitative and quantitative, which is a little strange. The impact here, we're going to have to find qualitative like words here. Now, first off, we know that the CEO, or I remember that the CEO said, that attacks on the end IP will be relentless, right? In contrast, the CEO insisted that threats to the company's IP will be relentless. Relentless attacks. These hackers are going after it. Okay. So that's 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 gonna be high for the theft probability. Right. Okay. And then do we have any qualita or, uh, qualitative words on the impact? Cybersecurity division not convinced the CFO that the company should authorize the expense. Okay. Uh, what does the CISO say? It doesn't really give us a qualitative response. Does it do it down here? I mean, I would argue that's high. We don't really have a justified recommendation based on the impact and probability. We don't really have a metric or a word that says any level of impact, but 50K is significant. It depends on the size of the company. 50K for a small business is could be crippling. 15K for a large company could be nothing. So I'm not sure... This could be, that's the problem with doing qualitative. You, it's really based on your judgment, okay? I mean, if the CEO is highly concerned about it, I would say the impact would be high. You have to take into account your senior leader's uh, understanding of this, this process. Does anybody else see any, any words that could clue us in on this? Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick high. We'll see if it works. Okay. Good job. We did it. All right. So that's good. I'm glad my math was good. Because, <laughs> you know, if you mess up one of these, your whole calculation is going to be off. Uh, but this worked out great. Okay. So this is pretty self-explanatory. The annual rate of occurrence is the number of attacks per year. I think we explained this as we went through. Let's see if there's anything that jumps out. I'm gonna talk about what the last step here. IP theft will be high impact. That, that just, you didn't tell us anything or give us any clue on why that's high impact. You, you, uh, birds are purple. I mean, that could be, I don't know. High probability issue for the company. High P theft will be a high impact, high probability issue for the company. Statements within the scenario make it clear that IP theft has been expensive for the company. Now see, I don't agree with that. 
Now, if we're talking about expensive, we should be doing quantitative analysis that shouldn't apply to qualitative analysis. And how large is this company? If this is Disney, $50,000 a year is nothing. So that's not really high impact, okay? If this is like, you know, Jimmy John's, uh, or not Jimmy John's, but like Jimbo's YouTube channel where he goes fishing and like, you know, he gets all his money off of YouTube videos, $50,000 can be huge, okay? You know, that, that's, that's a really, that's a huge uh, indicator there. The size of the company, we don't have that. Now, I do agree with the second part of the scenario. It mentions that the company has suffered an average of five incidents per year in the past 36 months. Well, that doesn't matter. The CEO believes that threats to the company IP will be relentless. Now, that makes it a high probability event. So that one makes sense here for the probability, that relentless comment. And that's one of those key words that you're uh, – if you read something like that in the scenario, like a word like that, relentless, that would stick out to you reading a normal – anything that's probably a keyword that comp t is thrown in there to get you to select a certain answer okay uh yeah i don't agree with the 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 impact part but everything else is pretty straightforward and this is the nice thing about doing quantitative the ceo is going to speak your language if you do a quantitative risk assessment because you're talking about numbers okay this will save us one hundred fifty thousand dollars per year the one term I do want to clue in on here is the use of the ROSI, right? What are we using? Yeah, here. Uh, the ROSI, the return on security investment. Now, this is just return on investment for a security device. Don't get thrown up by this, okay? It's the same calculation for return on investment. But we have to kind of, so we're just talking about a security tool or a security implementation. That's all that means. Really, it should just say return on investment. There's no reason to put security in there. It's just another acronym to learn, okay? But this is really an ROI calculation. And that's, you do need to know this for the exam. Now, it's pretty simple. Uh, just remember these terms, annual rate of occurrence, single loss expectancy, annual loss expectancy, et cetera. And you should be fine there. Any questions on this one? Okay, great. All right, um, I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, let me know.